this video I am going to show you how to test a transistor and LED with the help of multimeter so let's start the lesson do you know what is it it is a transistor transistor is an electronic device which is used for amplification and switching there are two types of transistor NPN transistor and PNP transistor transistor have a three terminal collector emitter and base this is the symbol of NPN transistor here and P type semiconductor P type semiconductor is sandwiched between N type semiconductor NPN transistor have three terminal collector base and emitter arrow sign is towards emitter similarly PNP transistor have also three terminal collector base and emitter but arrow sign is towards base PNP type semiconductor is defined as N type semiconductor is sandwiched between P type semiconductor this is the front view of the transistor front view of the transistor is of flat type it's a plane this is the back view of the transistor it's of dome shape and there is a there is a a little circle on the back side of the transistor to know the terminal of the transistor first of all you have to put you have to put flat face in front of your face and then the right most of terminal of the transistor is emitter and the middle terminal of the transistor is base and the last one that is leftmost terminal of the transistor is collector To test a transistor with the help of multimeter, first of all you have to put this range switch to HFE mode and then you have to connect a transistor in if the transistor is of NPN type then you have to put the transistor in NPN side and if your transistor is of PNP type then you have to put your transistor in PNP side. As I had put the range switch to HFE mode here H stands for H parameter F stands for current gain and E stands for common emitter configuration as I said my switch range to HFE mode now I have to connect my transistor to this section as my transistor is of NPN type, so I am going to connect my transistor to NPN section. An NPN section have emitter hole, uh, base hole and collector hole. I have to connect the respective emitter base and collector end of the transistor to the respective emitter base and collector hole of the multimeter. As I connected emitter terminal of the transistor to the emitter hole and the base terminal of the transistor to the base hole and the collector terminal of the transistor to the collector hole now we got a value of HFE that is 343 so in this way we can easily calculate or easily Test the transistor with the help of multimeter. HFE value of every transistor is fixed. The range of HFE value is from 10 to 500. Every transistor have their unique HFE value. HFE value is a multiplying factor. Amount of current applied to the base terminal of the transistor Suppose we apply 
1 milli ampere of current to the base terminal of the transistor which is connected to the common emitter configuration then the amount of current that we get from the collector side of the transistor is multiplied by 342 that is HFE value of the transistor so there is amplification of 1 milliampere of the current to 342 milliampere of the current that we have get from the collector of the transistor so with the help of HFE value of the transistor we can know the multiplying factor or amplifying factor of the transistor very easily with the help of multimeter now we are going to test a LED with the help of multimeter LED stands for light emitting diode this is diode when it is connected to the forward device it will emit light so it is called light emitting diode it has two terminal P terminal and N terminal the longest terminal of the diode is P terminal and this little sort of terminal of the diode is N terminal as you see here that the the P terminal of the diode have a narrow have have a very narrow strip here but the end terminal of the diode have a very wide strip here so by seeing the diode you can easily know which one is p terminal and which one is n terminal of the diode to test a diode with the multimeter we have to put the range switch to the connectivity or the diode mode as i had put my range switch to the connectivity or the diode mode I have to put the red probe to the voltage ohm milliampere jack and the black probe to the common jack now I am going to connect a red probe of multimeter to the P terminal of the diode and the black probe of the multimeter to the end terminal of the diode as I connected it it glows it means the diode is in forward bias and is it is in working state but if I connected a black probe to the end terminal of the diode sorry P terminal of the diode and the red probe to the end terminal of the diode the light will not glow it means that diode is not working in the reverse bias so diode is working in only forward bias that is when we connect a positive terminal of the battery to the P terminal of the diode and the negative terminal of the battery to the N terminal of the diode and this is called forward bias connection and the diode will in working state as you see that the light is LED is glowing so it is working so thank you for watching my videos like my videos share my videos and comment down below